Mr. Smiles in the house. Yeah. Bakari in the house. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Hit up on the message board and a ton of emails. So, Mr. Smiles, officially, what's the status of Smiles in South Carolina? Uh oh. Mm, that's my question. Everything is good with me in South. Now, I mean, we, we still together. Now, I mean, we just want to do something different. Now, I mean, that's, that's basically it. So, we still together. We're going to drop solos and then we're going to come back together and kill them again. There you go. Would you say? Would you say that the two of you creatively are similar or kind of different? Like, what, like, are we going to see that difference if there is one on your solo project? Oh, yeah, you're going to see a big, a huge difference. Okay. This is like we creating our own, our own lane with this music right here. The way we coming at it, I mean, automatic is just the tip. It's, it's not even, I mean, uh. <laughs> the rest of the album, listen, you go on the MySpace and you can hear, like, you know, we invite people over to the studio to hear what we're doing. Really? If you go, yeah. On YouTube, come YouTube. YouTube. Remember the same thing you come through, too. Now, I mean, we, we invite really? people over. <laughs> we invite people over to the studio just to experience, you know, the album. If you go on my MySpace, MySpace forward slash Smiles Runs Orlando, Smiles with a Z Runs Orlando, you can see the testimonies, man. So, it's a lot That's different. Funny. It's a lot different than the Smiles of South Star. It's totally different. Okay. Well, that's good. That's what people want to hear. I mean, anytime you guys do that, you're old school in the sense that you're a, 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 like a hip hop duo. You know, there ain't a lot of duos anymore. You know, and that's a natural thing when there's a duo. People pick pick one over the other. You know, kind of like Outkast and everything. But I've always been a fan to see. Okay, now what is he gonna do on his own? You know what I mean? So automatic. That's hey. That, if that's an indication of what's to come. It's going to be all good. Yeah. It's going to be okay. <laughs> so, hey, back to the creative process. What comes first for you? you got to be inspired by the beats. You, you already know where you want to go. How, how does that work? No, I always got to be inspired by the beat. Like, okay. Like, like, when it comes to me, I don't just write rhymes, you know, with no music. I like to hear the beat and then just write the rhymes to that beat. So like right on the spot? Yeah. Okay. And so it feels like, because my voice is just part of this another instrument. Okay. The whole beat, and I try to do that when I'm writing. So I don't want to just write something one day and then try to put it on a beat that the car makes or whoever else. Okay. I like to just hear it and then write to it right there. Now let me ask you this: We have a lot of uh, we have the car in the house, and we have a lot of aspiring producers that are listening. Myself, yes, sir. Like listen, man, talking. But I want I want to ask you this question first, Smiles. How do you like to be approached? When when a guy wants to give you some beats or something, what, what's the right way and the wrong way to do it? Because I mean, I've done the wrong way, <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know what the right way is. As far as I mean, producers coming up to me, this this hand me the CD. I mean, I know they always tell me is the project done yet, blah blah blah, which is fine. But if it's hot, it's hot. You know what I mean? If it's hot and I like it, I'm gonna record to it. So just give me the track, give me the beat, give me the beat CD, mm -hmm. and just let me vibe with it. Okay. That's basically, all you gotta do. Cool. Yeah. So you get that a lot, you get people coming up to you, oh man, this is the pump right here, this is me. Yeah, a lot of people do that, and then when you put it in, it's whack. But, <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes you get some hot joints, so I listen to everything I get. I, I always listen to it in the car, because I write my best music when I'm driving. When you're driving? When I'm driving, and I'm chilling on the highway, I pull out the iPhone, and I'm swerving, but I'm writing something hot. Right. So no matter. Let me answer this question here. Now. Oh, well, I want to tell you a story. I know I had a Smiles and South Stock story. All right, y'all DJ at the time was DJ 007. Yep. The guy I worked with in Fort Myers, okay. So, you guys were performing at the last damn show in Tampa one year. Mm -hmm. And I saw y'all walking. I saw y'all walking near the backstage. I text Double O. I'm like, yo, I'm in the house. He's like, meet us here at this time. We're going to this uh, club, the VIP, the after party. So I walked up. I walked right in the club with y'all. And I was with this girl mm -hmm. named Mary. I don't know if you remember, it was, a long, it was three, four years ago. The VIP got shut down. There was some commotion and some tables kicked over. Wow. That was Mary. <laughs> 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 and I was the, me and Mary were the only people in the VIP that were not artists. Like Obi Trice was in there, Lil John was in there, I think uh, Wyclef had fell through. It, 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 it just got buck wild real quick, and I just wanted to apologize. Because, uh... I just Who remember that dude. I remember in particular you were having a good time that night. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were ruined the night for me. Now it's not coming back to me. <laughs> and if I told you how that story ended, I just I just don't think things will be right. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I wanted to impress Mary. Oh, oh no. I wanted to 
impressed Mary that I, you know, that I knew some people. So I took her up to Tampa, you know, because I had a girl in Fort Myers. But you know, I had to take Mary out of town. Uh-huh. Right, took Mary out of town. Me and Mary never hooked up before. Little did I know, maybe it wasn't a good time for Mary to hook up with oh, anybody. Man. Maybe Mary didn't tell nobody. Oh. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. And she's wow. bloody married now. Oh. That's my famous bloody married story. Oh. I'm talking crime scene. Crime scene. Four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. We're kicking it with Mr. Smiles from Smiles South Star. Yeah. And uh, man, everybody wants to know when you. I've always told these guys that you know I want to do. I want to. I want to go on a tour one time. Now I remember you guys were touring a lot. Yeah. You guys were on every. If there was a special. You guys were there. You were touring, performing all over. What is that groupie action like? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> groupie action is. Yeah, it's a lot of groupie action. A I mean, lot you know, of, I'm talking back in the day. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of groupie action. Like, I mean, these girls is, did you have to do want to be famous. Did you have to do anything special? Like, you know, like Chuck Bear used to take a Polaroid with the girl butt naked and <laughs> smiling before it went down, you know? <laughs> back in the day. Wow. That was way back in the day. You didn't yeah. have, like, an agreement they had to sign if they wanted to hang out? Just, <laughs> no agreement, just, just come through. I mean, you know, back then, because that was our first record. You know, we ain't never been on TV. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Before that, we had to run game on, on girls and do all that stuff. And then we got, yeah, we got on TV and it's like, we're somebody else. They're just throwing it at us. You got to be real discreet. Over you know? 18, though. There's definitely it was, that's, That was the only one. Well, don't be picky. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have, you have, hey, you definitely got to check IDs. Smile, you haven't been hooking up with a girl and then the end, she's like, oh, I love you, Tyrese. <laughs> 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 They all, they all say my name. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Pound, pound for pound. I know you've been everywhere. Pound for pound, what city has the most beautiful women? Wow. You don't have to say Orlando. I won't say Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say L.A., man. I just love That's L.A., what I hear. man. That's what I hear. I love the weather in L.A. Uh, <laughs> right, right. I love it. I love L.A., for real. So... If you get a chance, because, you know, you if you stay in Orlando, you've never been out of Orlando, you think, like, all the Orlando women, like, these are the bangingest girls in the world. Oh, yeah. Even though I do have a banging one here. Uh-huh. But you think that these are the baddest bros. <laughs> <laughs> you think these are the baddest bros in the world, but when you go out of town, you go to L.A. or Chicago or New York, you're like, wow. Then you come back to Orlando. Then you're like, ah. You're like, what is here? <laughs> like, what am I really doing? <laughs> That's how you feel. You know what's funny though? A lot of cats that come like from LA, Chicago, New York, come to Orlando was like, I never knew y'all had it. Exactly. Well, it's it's crazy. well, that's my theory. When I go downtown, there's maybe ten really, really hot girls that everybody's chasing. Right. And they're all worn out. Thank <laughs> you, girl, it's your turn. Exactly. <laughs> you always know somebody that's that's talking. 